Here's what I think, and I think that Tracy would agree. We're young, we're healthy, we have careers that we love, and between us, we're comfortable. I'm with you so far. Okay, we take the interest from your trust fund and any other funds that you have, and we put it into a savings account for our kids. You know, it'll be for education and shoes. Exactly what kind of shoes are you thinking? It, 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 it sounds good. It'll be a safety net and in case something comes up. Like a shoe emergency. Or a medical <laughs> emergency. Or if we want to help out a loved one. And I'm sure there's charities that we'd like to support. I like the sound of that. The only thing I care about our kids inheriting is the good stuff that we bring to their lives. Honesty, compassion, a strong work ethic. You bring so much more than that. And you know, Granny told me that um, no one would want to live off their spouse's money, which was a very weird thing for her to say, considering all the guys in her life did just that. I never understood her taste in men, but I do understand where she's coming from. I always want to feel like I can serve and protect this family. You see what I did there? Yeah, I did. And I think that I bring value to our marriage. I mean, I can sing. Yeah, you can. I can cook. I can attest to that. I can catch the bad guys. Some might even say that it's your dollars against my collars. I will never say that. I can't believe how nervous I was talking money with you. You'll get better with practice. Besides, I think we're going to be having that talk every few years. You think we'll change our minds? Decide we want to buy all the trucks? <laughs> Pretty confident in saying no to that, but uh, money changes. Banks close, markets crash, opportunities come up that weren't there before. Well, we'll cross those bridges when we get to them, and maybe we'll buy them if we want to. But for now, we're good. You weren't nervous about having the money talk because of my fragile male ego, <laughs> were you? Because if the shoe was on the other foot and I had the millions, I do not think you'd like living off my money either. Probably not. That's all I needed to hear. I mean, you should have told me sooner. I would have said it sooner. Okay. Can we be done with this money is a ruinous burden talk? <sighs> yes, yes, a thousand times, yes. I want you to give me one practical good thing that money brings us. Orthodonture. Our kids are going to have beautiful teeth. <laughs>